Welcome to the Leash Today Quizcast in association with our sponsors, The Square Bar in Port Leash. I am your host and quiz master, Mark Comerford, along with my lovely assistant, Alan Hartnett. Uh, we've reached the quarterfinal stage of the Quizcast with eight disappointed casualties already eliminated. Like round one, the quarters will be re recorded here on Zoom as excitement builds for our live semi-final and final. Uh, there'll be great atmosphere inside the square bar for our special trivia extravaganza in December. All contestants will get themselves a Leash Today goodie bag with a top prize for the winner yet to be revealed. Let's introduce our quarterfinal hopefuls. Contestant number one made short work of Darren Bracken in the first round and has his sights set uh, on a spot in our live finale. It's Courtwood's Brian Hogan. Welcome along, Brian. Hi. Our second contestant put my lovely assistant, Alan, to the sword with ease in round one. <laughs> uh, he says he knows nothing about sport apart from GA. I'd call that a dirty lie. It's the Strad Valley Parish Gales co-captain, Porrick Ramsbottom. Porrick, welcome back. Thank you, Alan. Alan, how are you? Alan, have you recovered from your round one ordeal against Porrick? No. Two weeks later, I'm still getting abused wherever I go. I was even I was at the coming one school today, and there was teachers taking the piss out of me and everything. It's it's very difficult, but it's not it's not it goes both ways. Park is has turned into a celebrity everywhere he goes. People say, "Jeez, you done great on the quiz, Park. Well done." It's not right. I feel Alan. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying it to me now, so hopefully keep it going out. Yeah, well, you've a you've a tough one this evening because you're you're up. I think Stephen was saying to me today now, and yeah. he probably won't know the answers to this question, but. He reckons your fathers would have played against one another over the years and had great battles. So I don't know whether that's true or not, Brian. You you might be able to answer that. I, I don't know. I, I know the answer and I think it's fairly true because Billy's your brother, isn't he? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I was chatting to your father down at the park run a few times there through the years and that. Um, I don't think I've seen you talk out there yet yourself, but uh, <laughs> I, I may get back down there soon myself. Yeah, yeah. I know it's been a while, alright. I've been down there, yeah. I'm sure. It's been a while, my own bit, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, I still I do a bit of running though, but I wouldn't. Not as many races, just kind of for football. Like, ah, yeah, of course, of course. Jesus, no, it's a, it's a tough place now, with Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. in Vickers Town as well. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, a bit of a trick. All right, lads, let's get this rock and rolling. Uh, there are two slight changes to the format from the last 16. Our Han Leash round has been replaced by Homer Away, which will hopefully add a little more jeopardy, uh, jeopardy in the latter stages of the quiz. So contestants can choose a home question for one point or an away question for two points. There's also a slight change in round four in our numbers round. Uh, contestants will earn two points for giving the correct answer and if nobody gets it exactly right the closest to the correct answer will get one point so as our guest brian i'm going to let you choose do you want to go first or second i'll go second go second auric you went first the last time let's see how it goes for you this time golden goose Porrick. Who appeared in the most Leinster senior football finals? Not who has won it, who has appeared in the most finals. Is it Offaly, Wexford, Leash, or Loud? Who has appeared football, in the most... Football, Football, yeah. Who has appeared in the most Leinster senior football finals? Offaly, Wexford, Leash, or Loud? So it's not loud anyway. It's leash. leash. There's a safe tie. I don't think it's us, but I'll go with the faithful. Awfully. Oh, awfully are our ugly duckling. Oh, so you're on yeah. minus one from the beginning. Awfully, 19 finals. Uh, leash 21. Louth 23. And it was Wexford we were looking for who have 26 finals. So, minus one. Not a good start for it. Oh, but plenty of time to oh, catch man. things up. Why, why couldn't he have done that two weeks ago, for God's sake? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Brian, Golden Goose. What club scored the most points overall in the 2023 Leash Senior Hurling Championship? 
Camros, Abby Leakes, Klopp Balakala, or Rath Downey Air? I'll go Klopp Balakala. And he gets it right. No hesitation, in and out, no kissing, two points. Off the mark. An uphill battle, Porrick, straight from the start. Okay, gentlemen, round two is reeling in the years. You both remember the rules. I'm going to give you each a designated year, and you get the same questions from that year. So, Porrick, you'll be happy to hear your year is 2019. I want you to give me who was named player of the season in the Premier League, who did Port Leash beat in the Leash Senior Football Final, and who won the All-Ireland Senior Camogie title. So 2019, Premier League player of the season, who did Leash beat, or sorry, who did Port Leash beat in the Leash Senior Football Final, and who won the All Ireland Camogie? Right. For the player of the year, I'm going to go with Kevin De Bruyne, Man City. Um, 2019, Port Leash got collection by a point, I think, in the Senior Final, and Camogie, I wouldn't watch that, so I'm just going to go with Cork. You got one out of three there. Uh, I wish I could give you an extra point. Port Leash did beat Collection by one point. You got that one right. Uh, Virgil van Dijk won player of the season despite Man City winning the league. And it was Galway who won the Camogie beating Kilkenny. So that brings you nicely up to zero. So, Brian, same questions. Your year is 2017. So the Premier League player of the season... Who did Port Leash beat in the Leash Senior Football Final and who won the All Ireland Senior Camogie title? Port Leash bet Ballaline in 2017. The Camogie. I'm going to go with Cork because they won a lot of them. In 2017, it was in Golo Kante. Got the Premier League Player of the Year. A clean sweep for Mr. Hogan. <laughs> Port Leash did indeed beat Ballyline in 3.13 to 10 points. Cork beat Kilkenny in the final. And it was in Golo Kante as Chelsea lifted the Premier League. So three out of three puts you on to five points. It's 5-0. Porrick, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. It's not a nice Porrick. place to be. Porrick, you'll remember no. our bonus question where if you get it correct, you get a point and if you get it wrong, it's a, you lose a point. You don't have to take it. But I'm going to give you the bonus option here. You don't take it, all right? Do it. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, in 2019, Porrick, who won the Snooker World Championship? My advice. Snooker. <laughs> Sure, who watches that point? It's easy to say. Snooker. I, I watch um, Snooker. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I've never watched Snooker before. No. Do you know any they, Snooker players' name that you could throw out no. there? You might be right. Oh, other boys no. to play in Tim Hall, that's no way. Alan, Brian, do either of you have, want to have a guess uh, at the 2019? Is... See, like, Ronnie O'Sullivan kind of made a bit of a comeback at one stage, didn't he? But I don't know whether that was the year he won it in. I shout out what? Mark Selby, but... No, it was Judge Trump. He beat John Judge Higgins. Trump. So, that leaves Porrick back on minus one. Uh, Brian, you're six points clear. Do you want to go for another point? Do you want to push the boat out with a bonus, or do you want to leave it? No, I'm not much of a gambler now, Mark, so... <laughs> Uh, I've heard that alright yes. safe and steady ok we'll move into Homer away so here we have a GA question for one point or you can go away a different question a different sport worth two points Porik do you want to stay steady and get at least get back to zero if you get the football or the, the, yeah, the football question right or do you want to try to earn yourself two points with an away question how many questions are left, Matt? After this, we, we head into our 
we head into our uh, head-to-head round where you can get you, there's a possibility of getting six points in that round if you get everything exactly right. So may go away, so I'll take away question. It's a darts question. That's another sport that's very popular in Tim <laughs> Oak. <laughs> what Dutch player has won three World's Darts Championships? Yes, I'm gonna get some abuse for this. All the boys, all all my friends are big into the dart. Yeah, actually, there's a dart board hanging over there beside me as well, but um, never used. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so what Dutch player has won three world darts championships? I hear all these darts lads names so often, and the one time I, I no one can even come to my head. Um. No, it's not Van der Flynn or something, is it? No. I don't know. I, I think Van der Flynn or something. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what first name is. It was Michael Van Gerwen. That's the one. So You're close. That means, You're close. That, You're close. <laughs> that leaves you still oh. on minus one. Six points adrift. Uh, Brian, do you want to go home for GA question mm-hmm. or away for a two-pointer? I go for home. Go for home. Leash today kept diligent scoring charts in the Leash Hurling and Football Championships again this year. Who was the only player in the county to appear in the scoring charts in both codes? So who was a top scorer this year in both the hurling and in the football? Like... Are you asking me to name the hurling top scorer and football top scorer? No, no, no. Or... Just tell me which only one player in the county managed to get into uh, the top five scoring charts in both football right. and hurling. So you're looking at a few jewel clubs here. Right. Let me... Who would have got into the top scorers? It's a difficult question. Um... Okay, Paul ignores the answer to this one. <laughs> Torek feels exactly how I felt when he was playing me. Your confidence is right, shot so, and your head is gone. So, Joseph's and Port Leash, I reckon there's no one there. Port, definitely not. I was in the other semi final. <laughs> um, Greg, definitely not. I, your man, Tyrrell wasn't in the top five of court when anyway. Emo, have they a hurler? Um, Paula Finn, Rose and Alice. The gears are really ticking over now on this one. Jeez, I, is it Paddy Keaton, Rose and Alice? It is not. It was uh, Niall Corbett of Clunnesley St. Manlands. He was the yes. top scorer in the Senior Football Championship and also made the list at Premier Intermediate Hurley. So, Fair enough. I think you'll be okay. You're still six points ahead. Horik, you need to get every single question exactly right in our head-to-head round to bring this to a tiebreak. Do we have to do a thing on the chat here? Yeah, this is where you send the answers in in this round to uh, to Alan. It's a numbers round. so Do we to, because it's on everyone here. Yeah, so, so you can just change. Yeah, change that, to, change that to me. And the other change that we've had brought in for this round is that if you get the answer... Exactly correct. Um, it's you get two points. points. If neither of you get it exactly right, it's the closest to the correct answer gets a point. So no question po- or no no pressure, Porik. Ready for your first question, lads? How many yeah. caps did Roy Keane win for Ireland? How many caps did Roy Keane win for Ireland? You're on your game tonight, Mark, I have to say. Very good. Very good performance so far. Well, we set very low standards in the first <laughs> quarter final. <laughs> we've one answer in. We've two answers in. Go ahead, Mark. The correct answer we're looking for is 67. 
And the closest to that is Brian Hogan with 81. Porrick unfortunately overshot the runway with 112. Well, that's done for you, Porrick, but we'll keep playing anyway in the last two questions here. How many Rugby World Cup matches have been played in Ireland? Ooh. Talk about giving me PTSD, asking me ruby related questions <laughs> while I'm on this podcast. Yeah, I'll ruby, give you a yeah. two. You went there. <laughs> <laughs> One answer in. One answer in. We're nearly there. Two answers We're in. Nearly over now, Porik. <laughs> to pain. <laughs> Oh, no. Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> the correct answer I'm looking for here is 12. Oh, and it's a close one, but Brian Hogan takes the point with six. Parik had five. It was uh, there were five games played in 1991, seven played in 1999. So there's been nine in Dublin, two in Belfast, and one in Limerick. And so it's now seven plays minus one with our last question. How many different Dublin players have been named Footballer of the Year since it began in 1995? So if you've won the award more than once, it doesn't count. It's just how many time, how many different players from Dublin have been named Footballer of the Year. So in other words, if I won it three times, I'd still only be counted as one person. Right. Yeah. Uh, Did you miss the coming of months going today, Mark? I was busy writing these questions. <laughs> With comprehensive answers today, in case people like Jack Scully ask me difficult follow-up <laughs> questions. I have answers. I have the list of Dublin players here in front of me. Come on, good man. <laughs> I almost said the number. <laughs> oh, God. Brian's floating around the screen there. Parik has put his answer in. I think I'm in. Parik's waiting to try and get back to, to oh, zero. I'm, the field, eh? the <laughs> I'm in for some of you. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Is that gone? Oh, no. That's just, we're still waiting. Have you put, you haven't put him on yet, Brian? No? I, I put in the answer, Alan. Yes. Whether it's... Oh, is it? All right. Oh yeah, Just... yeah, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone to me, it's gone to me. Yeah, we're in there. All right, the answer I'm looking for here is six. Good man, Porik. I'm delighted for you. Porik <laughs> has has won that question with exactly the right answer to get himself into positive figures. Well done, Porik. You deserve that. You deserve that, Porik. Well done. Fair play, Brian. Best luck now. <laughs> no, bother, Porik. Will you be? Will you be in the square bar that Friday night? I don't know. I'll see my chip in now, all right? Sure. You never know. Brian, I think Brian owes you a pint now after that hype well, he's I, after giving you. Well, I was going to say, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're, if you're a age drinker, if your mother and father be there looking, but if they're not looking, I'll buy you a couple of pints. Oh, I, I, no, I, I don't hate drinks. I'm actually playing here. So. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. we might change that when we get you into the square bar. Well, yeah, in, in more serious, yeah, in more serious part, I am recruiting for my team on the evening, and uh, you'll you'll be you'll be in contention now for a spot on the what will be the winning team in the B competition that will be taking place on on the night. So, um, don't don't worry, I'll, I'll be in touch with you now. You just didn't what's as, the, as, um, uh, go ahead, Brian. What's the, what's what's the plan for the night, Alan? Um, is it starting early or? Well, I'd say you know. Don't after the water. <laughs> I'd say you know. Um, the, the, the way it's the way it's shaping up. Um, there's still a lot of unconfirmed um elements to it. So we we have all the quarterfinals recorded now very shortly, and then it'll be full steam ahead in the planning. But you will have to put off. I believe you were going to be traveling, so you'll have to put off. Put oh, that that's, off. That's that's put off. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. If I enter something, I'll be there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I meant, I meant to go Galway for the weekend, but I can go. I can go Saturday. Um, you can. That place is open all the time anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. but uh, actually, geez, I I think I could have been messy enough the last time I was in the square bar. Will you be able to check if I'm if I'm going to be allowed in or not? 
We we'll speak to Mick Scully. Don't worry. We'll speak to Mick Scully. If there's yeah, yeah, a barren no, order, no, no, no. if there's a barren order against it, we we'll get it lifted. Don't worry for for one night only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a bother. Not a bother. That's the selling point for one night only in the square of ours, Brian Hogan on there. Yeah, yeah. This man allowed in. <laughs> All right, lads, know. thank you very you much. Commiserations, Porik, and congratulations, Brian. We'll see you in the square bar for the live semi finals and final. Thanks, lads. Sound, lads. Have a good one. Mm-hmm.